because that's the I mean that's the deal is young life is inefficient. It's like a really yes. crappy way of doing things, um, and God's ministry is all a bad way of doing things. So look at our world and what gift do we have to bring to kids and adults? Is our inefficiency. That's what makes us different. All the rest of the world, we're just trying to slam ministries in. It's going to get more kids, get more kids in front of us. Da, 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 da. It's like, no. Yeah. Worship inefficiency, right? I get, sorry, you raised your hand like a polite kid. Um, but uh, <laughs> I guess what was, the, what was the click for you? Because it sounded like the, after the first couple of years, you were pretty frustrated because of the inefficiency. Or am I no. hearing that wrong? No, actually, I, I've talked to Andy since day one. Get out there and be inefficient. Okay. Truly get out of I, I, all that work you got to do, get it done. Get out from behind your desk. Get out there and meet with kids. That was part of it. I, feel, I saw him behind his desk too much. Uh -oh. but, you know, I didn't see, didn't see it. Uh -oh. And I had somebody to blame. Okay. Now, I don't care how much time he spends behind his desk. I don't even think about it. We are both trying to get out there in front of kids. I'm a volunteer leader too. Okay. So, I mean, I spend lots of time with kids. I love being with kids. I know what inefficiency. I know the value of it. So yeah, from the start, that's ne that's never. I don't think that's even been a bone of contention. No. What's the plan to bring in a a third person in the sense of you moving out of that role at some point? Yeah, it's a it's a very good question. Um, first of all, to make sure that time is not what is valued by the area director, mm -hmm. that it is, that it is ownership, not partnership, ownership and then nobody comes in. So I, I believe here after this hour, I could recruit somebody here who now sees this in a new way and would come in and understand that being an owner and that there's no finger pointing and that if you're not willing to come in and own the issue, then don't, please don't, we work too hard. Second thing, Jim, is we've been doing this for a year and a half. Uh, I will do it for at least another year because I don't want the stitches to come out of what we've put in. We, we really need to work this deeply into the culture. And if Andy, because he's going to be regional director someday somewhere, he's going to, you know, viewers got to be scared. He's coming after him. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll see uh, he's going to go at some point and I have to have a conversation with an area director who's not so full of themselves that they need to come in and and, and push the organization around. And, you know, we, we built something that's way, way better than that. Yeah. And if they want that, that'll, that'll be good. So to take it one more layer, we have to go to where you do not have my particular gifts. I'll, a different gift set will work just fine. You don't have to have Andy's gifts. A particular gift set is not required. What is required is the, the area director and committee chair are indivisible. That's what's required. Hmm. That is, I guess that would be the answer. I'm working it out here in front of you, but that's, that would be the answer. That's how it gets done. And I think in contrast to all the committee chairs I've met, area directors that I've met that are kind of, kind of running their own thing because they're working under what I think is this false construct. I really think they're working on this false construct of division of labor and division of authority and all that sort of thing and, and going like this. And when that gets destroyed, I think there's a line of people around the block that want to go in that far, that want to own it. They don't want to do 90 hours a week. I can easily imagine two years from now, Andy's gone, I'm gone, New area director may truly be doing ninety percent of the labor because there's a committee chair there. That, you know, they're working seventy hours a week. They really they can't do, it. but they have fifteen minutes a day to push it along. And you want that more than you want time. I put a lot of time into it, but that's not the factor. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Is that you get there? Oop. No, kind of. We can talk more. <laughs> we're, we're trying, man. We're working. We're trying to figure this out ourselves. We're, oh, I get it. If you don't see this as a work in progress, you're right? Because I mean, the struggle is like, uh, you know, you get one and the connection's really good, and then you're like, well, they get tapped out, and then it's like bringing somebody else in, and then that whole next piece of, of that transition time that happens. Which is, well, it shouldn't be. I would suggest that it shouldn't be somebody unfamiliar, right? And it should be somebody who 
who, if that is the structure you want to do it in, gets it mm -hmm. and says, I don't even know you that well, but it's what I'm going to promise you. We own these things. We own every issue together. If I got a difference with you, I will bring it up to you. And if we need to go off over here and talk about it, we might even get ourselves in some real fights. But when we come out of that room, we are together. We owe this to our community. It has nothing to do with us. Yeah. If you're that person, then I think you'll find your way into it. And if you bring Christ into this thing, I think you will soften hearts. I think you will make it work. I think you will make it work. If you don't understand the ground rules going in, I think that's probably where it gets most up. Yeah. Oh. Um, I think you kind of just clarified some of my question, but for, I mean, first, thank you guys. This is great. Thanks for being so vulnerable with your ups and downs. Um, but I guess, you know, earlier, kind of going back to the, the, the 60, 40 and, and as a staff person, I think it, there's, and maybe this is where we've just gotten a little off track. There's this sense of, Hey, be my, my partner or own this with me. But you're work, you, you know, you're working seventy hours a week. Your job. I'm hired to do this. I mean, sure. so there's this tension of, and, and I don't know how the committee chairs in the room. Feel. You know, when you first say that, it feels like, okay, so basically these are two full time people who are doing, and yeah. but then as you talk about hey, fifteen minutes a day, it, it, it's more about ownership than, than labor. time. Yeah. And, and, and could you maybe? I don't know if anybody else feels a little bit of that tension, but. Anybody else feel that tension? Want to comment on that before we comment on it? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been doing Young Life for five years, and for the first three, I was absolutely sick and tired of being told I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. You just don't. I mean, and I, and I right. would, and so I would say my natural driving mentality <laughs> would be then show me, then show me what you, what I don't get. Take me to yeah. a committee that works. Take me to a you know, uh, TDS, connect me, connect me, connect me. Yeah. Well, I finally found out it's just, it, they don't exist. Yeah. There you go. People do, people com commit, the areas that are successful that I see in the region, figure out what the community needs, they adapt to that, and they have relation, they have good core relationships. Yeah. That's, I mean, it comes right down to that. If you take the book and you're like, okay, I'm the committee chair, I gotta make sure we do it by the book. You're going to fail. Yeah. Yeah. There is another you're, you're path to success. I shouldn't say you're going to fail. You're going to struggle. There's one more path to success, and that's where you bring in uh, a journeyman area director or a superstar area director. They're mid 30s, mid 40s. They know how to do it. They can do it, but but they're still going to be lonesome as hell. Well, there that's, are reasons. That's where you still don't win, even though you got somebody that can do it. Yeah, and there's a reason why. The tenure of an area director is between seven and ten years. Oh my gosh! I don't know how long. And, and, the, and the people that have made it more than ten years have been able to adapt to their weaknesses enough to survive. Mm -hmm. And as committee chairs, we really fill the void. I shouldn't say you, you really do. You you um, you work together with the with the area director and his weaknesses. And vice versa. Absolutely. Because I cannot sit crisscross applesauce and talk about kids' lives. I can't do it. <laughs> but man, I there's a song. I mean, in this room, there's some talent that makes me weep. Yeah. That it's so beautiful that I can't imagine not supporting it. Yeah. So I've never left it. Yeah. I just consistently, consistently get my stubborn head in the middle of something. I just can't figure it out. And it's just like you're saying. Is we got to do it together. Yeah. You know, you get with Jeff. You well, let's figure this out. Yeah. You know, and it's not okay. My time. I'm done with you. You got a good plan for it. You can go ahead and go do it. Go ride the horse. That's not the way it works. There's constant, constant. Yeah, yeah and I want to get back to Craig's question because I'm not sure. I, Craig as well. I, my years, like 30 years in young life. The first 25 were all volunteers. So it's funny how you have that tension as an area director. And it's weird because I don't understand it because I'm like Eric, I own it. Like if you're not doing well, then we're not doing well. Yeah. So when you talked about $200,000 a year or $75,000 a year and all your time goes into your job, I think most committee chairs could say that means nothing compared to the mission of Young Life or the mission of having people come to Christ. Yeah. 
So we, the right person, I think the right committee chair has never says, I'm too busy. Sure. Because they're not. Because our part is for those kids. We would, Ken Wilms would say the same thing. He is busy, but he would never say, don't engage me, because what you're doing is much more important. That's if <coughs> you're not being pressed back on by your area director for boundaries. Like, I really don't want you to cross this. And that's if, as a committee chair, I don't hold somewhere in my head that I've outsourced this yeah. to, to the organization. When those two things are in place, then those false walls are, are there. <coughs> but you've just, I mean, you've described it beautifully. Craig, you, so you had a question in there, and I kind of passed it on because I want another comment, but I want to be sure that we get to where No, I think it's just, get to it's where just kind of addressing that. You know, I think I feel like, yeah, I love the idea of, you know, committee or committee chair owning, and, and I feel like, you know, Ken does, but I, but I feel a very, I'm sensitive to, I don't want to ask too much of him you know, in terms of. You and Andy Mormon. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's not, I would, don't get stuck on the division of labor piece. I mean, it really truly is. I mean, like, I, I yeah, this is my full time job. Um, but there's so many times where, I mean, whether it's a 15 minutes a day or a longer conversation or, hey, we're getting down, we're on our computers, we're working away at something. Um, there's seasons where there's more time spent, there's seasons where it really is 15 minutes a day. Um, it, it's not about the time, it is truly about um, the co ownership, the um, tackling problems together, um, the mutual understanding of, like, hey, we know what's going on and we can, we can do, we move forward together and not um, as this independent rogue force. So I want to call Jeff Huber back in because when you, Craig, when you say you don't want to ask Ken that, that is a common feeling. I don't want to ask him, but they're already doing a lot. They're working, they're doing that sort of thing. It, um, that's how I got offended with Jeff. It was, he knew way more about me and it wasn't true. It wasn't true, it was sort of like, you wouldn't have asked me to do what I was doing, and so you're asking me why I would do it, and I'm going, I don't, I, I truly, I don't, I don't get it, unless you think that I'm here serving Young Life. I don't care about Young Life. I came to faith in Young Life. It was my avenue to knowing my Lord and Savior. I care about the kids of an inner mountain. Young Life happens to be the very best way I've ever seen mm -hmm. of reaching out to these kids. Mm -hmm. If I found something better tomorrow, I would go with it. I can't afford to fall in love with Young Life, even though I'm deeply in love with Young Life. I can't afford that. I got kids that need to hear the gospel. My heart breaks at the thought of a high school student walking across the stage at Evergreen High School, grabbing a diploma. In her satchel, she has geometry. She's learned how to kiss a boy. She knows how to go to sports. She's learned some philosophy. She's done her athletic events. She may be valedictorian. And in that satchel, she doesn't have the gospel. I don't care if she believes the gospel. I don't care if she believes the philosophy. I don't care if she ever is going to do geometry again. I care that she has it. And I can't stand the idea that we can't figure out how to do a good enough job to give her the opportunity to hear the gospel. When we say it's for every kid, dumb me, <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. And he can't do that on his own. We gotta do this way, way together. And he's gotta be able to ask me, but, if he wants to push, go back to what I said to you, Lily. If he wants to keep me at bay, right. then I feel, first of all, forced out, and I feel licensed to step back and go, you, 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 it's your fault, it's your fault. You're keeping me at bay, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. And if I bought the outsourcing model as a committee chair, I'm going, what do you keep asking me all this stuff for? 
I'm paying you. I'm raising the money. Like, go to work. If either of those two things are at play, then you're not going to get what you need for the kids in your town. That is the wall that we are here to destroy. And it's destroyed through real ownership, not through partnership. It's through real ownership. We work out the ebb and flow. Yeah. I got a question. Uh, multi-staff areas. How's the relationship with your uh, multi-staff board? In terms of like your relationship with your staff. We have, we have two staff. All right, that's not a community. 